It's your boy and Guru in the house back with another bang on episode ladies and gentlemen in this episode we are going to talk about in detail what is wrong with Ainsley Maitland Niles no not in terms of what is uh, happening of course we're going to shed light on what is actually happening in terms of the transfer window news yes the transfer talk is really happening about around Ainsley Maitland Niles where will he end up by the end of this window why does he you know why is he not in Arsenal's plans and of course Emil Smith Rowe. Yes, a lot of people want Emil Smith Rowe to succeed, but what exactly have they actually mentioned? Everything will be discussed in this video and the availability of PM Rick Aubameyang and Thomas Partey. And of course, Martin Odegaard has already already been there. It's, it's already there on the internet. I will be addressing that as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into the topic. The first topic that I would want to talk about is Wout Weghorst. Well, if you don't know, he is a striker, a tall striker, a lanky striker from uh, Wolfsburg. So Wolfsburg, uh, VFL Wolfsburg, his sporting director Marcel Schaffer has claimed it is flattering that Arsenal target Wout Weghorst is being linked with a move away from the club. Now, uh, speaking of the interest in the player, Schaffer said, it's always a nice feeling for the player and the club when our players are interesting for top clubs. That speaks for the success of the team. Uh, currently, no one has contacted us because of Weghorst, so we expect that he will be an integral part of our squad and, uh, and we are firmly convinced. So yes, they're firmly convinced that Wout Weghorst is not moving anywhere out of Wolfsburg this season at all. Definitely not in this transfer window, but let's see, I'm pretty much sure he's being wanted by some other clubs because, like, literally, he's been scoring more than 10 goals and probably this season as well. So moving on about Pierre Aubameyang, Charles Watts has given his update. He says, uh, "I'm pretty sure Pierre has been away. I I just think it's it's uh, probably uh, uh, unlikely that we are going to see him for Manchester United. Potentially, it might be the next week because they are going to have to follow very strict protocols. Uh, Aubameyang is going to have uh, to provide a negative test when he comes back. There is this uh, whole thing that is co coming into an elite sports bubble." So he can be closely monitored. He can be tested very regularly. Moving on. So Arteta was asked whether it will be another transfer window where it becomes his team. Will he, will he take one more transfer window so that he can impose his style of play or Arteta ball? Arteta says it will depend because every transfer window is different. What expectation you have in that transfer window and what can actually happen. And according to El Pace, Real Madrid's financial situation is so bad that they will sell any of their players if they receive a big enough offer. So Martin Odegaard definitely might be available on a permanent in the upcoming transfer windows. But that totally depends upon Zinedine Zidane. Moving on. So the teams to concede fewer Premier League goals than Arsenal this season are only one and that is Manchester City. Crazy. Also, uh, Arteta on Bruno Fernandes says you look at the stats and what he provides to the team. It is unquestionable that he has improved that, them dramatically and for many periods he has been the best player in the league probably. The impact he's had has been tremendous. So I'm pretty much sure that they are expecting Bruno Fernandes to be marked completely throughout the game. Well, let's move on. So Fabrizio Romano tweeted out that no Arsenal, no Paris Saint-Germain and no other clubs involved as of today for Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia has a verbal agreement since December to join Barcelona as a free agent. And he will be Barcelona player. There's no doubt about it. So, Eric Garcia in the summer is going to be a Barcelona player. Very well. So, Martin Odegaard has been training today. This is his training images. He's made contact as well. So, yes, uh, full contact training for uh, Martin Odegaard. And, of course, uh, Mikel Arteta speaking to him and imposing his style of play in his minds. Moving on. So, Thomas Partey has trained today. And PM Rick Aubameyang will not be available for tomorrow's game against Manchester United, according to Chris Wheatley. He has tweeted that out. So talking about some training images, you can see Joe Willock, Eleni Xhaka, Hector Berrin, uh, Nico Pepe, and of course, Eddie Onketia. And if you can see, um, Gabriel Magales, our very own Maglu, uh, Bukayo Saka, and of course, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And uh, you can see Emil Smithrow in the training as well, alongside Kieran Tierney. Tierney is back, ladies and gentlemen. You can see Odegaard. More images about Martin Odegaard as well. So, Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta has insisted that new boy Odegaard and Emil Smithrow can play together. Odegaard signed on loan says Arteta has opened up about it before the, the clash against Manchester United. 
Arteta said, of course, uh, they can play together. And it is not about pushing somebody else out of the team. Emil has earned his right to play the way he is performing and Martin has to earn that. Emil cannot play every single game as we know the other day. For example, in the FA Cup, he was injured. He could not play. The other day against Southampton on Tuesday, he could only play certain minutes because he was struggling for the last minutes. It has been a massive step for him for what he was doing for three or four months ago and what he's doing right now. We need options. So moving on, well, let's talk about this episode should be dedicated to this man, Fofty. So Southampton have uh, surged to the front of the queue to sign Ainsley Maitland Niles on loan. It looks like Ralph Hasen Hotel revealed that he is hopeful of bringing in another signing potentially on loan before the end of season. Also, not only this, I'm also going to uh, discuss about Ainsley, uh, what exactly is going on. So Newcastle have joined West Bromwich, Albion and Southampton in the race of uh, to, signing, uh, to sign Ainsley Maitland-Niles according to Telefootball. Now, also there are rumours that are going on that any deal with Southampton for Maitland-Niles could entail Bertrand going in the opposite direction as a left-back cover. He has just six months left on his deal at St. Mary's. It is now understood that West Brom and Southampton are the sides Maitland Niles is deciding between the player and the players des- uh, between uh, deciding between and the players des- desire to secure a midfield role could prove decisive. And pre- preliminary talks are underway over a deal which could see Maitland Niles spend the rest of the season on loan at St. Mary's. However, Sky Sport News has learned that Maitland Niles prefers a move to West Bromwich Albion, where he's likely to get more valuable game time. So it looks like he might go to, you know, you know, West Bromwich Albion. Now keen to remain in Gareth Southgate's thinking ahead of summer's Euros, Arsenal's academy graduate is desperate to play and believes six months in the Mid- Midlands will uh, improve his chances of improving the England manager. Impressing the England manager, I'm sorry. And also Southampton are pushing to wrap up a loan deal for Ainsley Midland Niles and are hopeful of completing the deal. Even David Onstein tweeted out that Southampton entered the race to sign Ainsley Maitland Niles, contacted Arsenal in the last 24 hours, and Arsenal warned that over uh, West Brom or a rival could raise fresh, que- fresh questions about Ryan Bertrand's future, but Saints want to keep him and add Ainsley Maitland Niles. That is the reality for now. Even Martin Keown has opened up about why Fofty doesn't belong at Arteta Ball. He says, Without the wing back system, it doesn't seem like there's a place for him. It's disappointing for him, but maybe he's better off to get some football and go on loan better between now and the end of the season. Very well, very well. I don't know if you guys believe in that or not, but okay. So moving on. So uh, Arsenal legend Lauren has backed brilliant signing Martin Odegaard to, to shine in the Premier League. He says, Odegaard is a fantastic player. I always say that a youngster needs six or seven consecutive games in order to show what he is about. Odegaard couldn't do it at Real Madrid, but he had to replace Modric, who has been the best player in the last few years, and there is no patience at Madrid. He played just two games at the start of the season, and you can't express yourself in two games. But the fact is, he is coming to Arsenal, and he is the type of player that Arteta likes. I'm sure he's going to give him those games to express himself. Himself. And uh, we will see a real talent because he is an absolute brilliant player. So Lauren is sold by the idea of uh, Odegaard to Arsenal. I'm pretty much sure about it. So also, number one, uh, a left back for Arsenal. Uh, Kieran Tierney is one of the best left backs in the Premier League, according to Nigel Winterburn. So Nigel Winterburn spoke to free super tips. He says, when Kieran Tierney first came to Arsenal, he was injured and unable to train with the team. He came in on a separate rehabilitation program initially. But now we are starting to see what he can really produce on a regular basis. He's one of the best left backs in the Premier League. When you consider his consistency, his crossing and the chances he creates, how successful he will be will depend on how many games he plays, how many trophies he wins, but he's up there with the best fullbacks in the Premier League. His level of performance has been great. We don't need anything flashy from your defenders. You need them to do their job well and be 7 out of 10 and above every week which is exactly what he does. Also, somebody is providing some fresh tips to Emil Smithrow and that somebody is Jamie Redknapp. He says, Emil Smithrow has come in and has been a revelation. They need uh, someone to light the flame, uh, give them the, that spark. For Emil Smithrow, this is the dream. He's an academy boy and you can see how he's doing the job. He's doing a great job. The fans love him. I hope with Odegaard coming into the club, that doesn't stop him being instrumental in what he's, they're doing. 
the hardest thing for him will be and i'm sure he knows this where he plays is a position where he where you're always looking for the best in the world or players in that position to be a number 10 or a wide man he's competing with some of the best so he's going to have to always maintain these standards he's producing right now but i've been so impressed with him i love his work ethic i love the way he runs with the ball he's been a breath of fresh air for his team uh, exactly when they needed it so of course everyone is of the praise but they need to keep him uh, keep the consistency as well so with this we end this episode thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed please let me know what you guys feel about ainsley and ryan boyfriend swap deal let me know what you guys think about it also about more stuff you can definitely enjoy tomorrow there's going to be a watch along so stay tuned for that i will see you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe cheers yeah